Hi, we're back for part two of Snow White. I mean, look at how big she is, right? My, I mean, my hand would cover her mouth, which is she's life size. Okay, um, so I realized I wanted to split this into two courses because there's so much going on on this side. And I wasn't sure how I was going to do it, so I needed a little break. But I realized on this side, I made a mistake. I forgot to put this. She has a brown outline around the face. So I think we're okay. I'm going to do it like this. I mean, it's going to have to be okay. <laughs> so we're going to do this. I'm going to put this down. And because we did this side first, we can kind of make the adjustments on this side to match this side. We'll see. All right, so I'm back with Barely Art Glue. Let's put this down. And I'm just going to, what would be easiest? I'm going to put it down over here. I'm, I knew it was a little off, but man, I just forgot. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. So we'll put this down. It's still going to look really good, but it is what it is. I mean, it just... All right, we're gonna do it like this. Hopefully this will work. Um, let's see. I think I need more glue. I'm gonna put more glue down on the actual brown. So let's see how that works out. Oh my gosh. Don't mind me. I don't know what's going on. All right. We've got that side down. Let's look at the other side. Let's see. We've got the neck. So the neck is going to go like this. I'm not too worried about this bottom part because I have the banner coming along here and the banner will cover up whatever issues we've got down here. What I'm more concerned about is, let's look at this little guy. So there's a couple pieces here that we need to do before this. So this is the other brown that's going to meet up with this one, right? And go over here, which it's totally not. See, we've got like alignment issues all over the place, but that's okay. We're gonna put this down as best as we can and we're just gonna go with it. So here's the thing, this part, we're going to be putting together the red that goes behind it, okay? So it's gonna look like this. So I'm gonna line this up. Now, originally the way it was designed was each one of these little holes has a, its own red piece, but I didn't wanna deal with each one of those, so I sort of welded a bunch of circles together, and so you'll see that in the design space tutorial. All right, but let's, in the meantime, let's get this all lined up and then we'll tape it from behind so that it stays in place and it's all ready to go. Okay, that looks about right. Um, we want tape. Oops. Okay, so this is down. It's gonna go like this. You see how pretty that is. Okay. All right, 
right, let's see what other pieces we have in here. We've got this piece here. Um, let's put this piece together here. So this goes like this. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna flip it over and tape it from behind. So you see this piece is so different than the ones we usually do, right? It's like everything needs to fall into place. So let's see, this is gonna go down like that. Okay. So I feel like, okay. It all has to fall into place. Okay, so I'm gonna move this up a little bit like this. Okay. So it's not looking too bad. It's a little bit uneven, but it's okay. <laughs> Let's see what we have here. This little guy goes here. Okay, we're okay. So it's a little bit off centered, but it's going to work out. See, it's gonna go like that. Okay, so let's, um, it is what it is. So we can put down, oh, see, I don't even know what pieces to put down first. Okay, I'm gonna lift this up. Let's glue down this piece a little bit. I'm gonna lift this up, put some glue down in this. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> There's no glue right there. All right, let's clean that part up. Just when I thought everything was good. Okay, we're just gonna clean up this glue a little bit. All right, let's put down this piece. I'll lift this up. Let's put down this brown outline. I want to make sure this is lined up down here. This part we can glue down in a little bit. We'll just lift this up and put down a lot of glue right there.
And it's all going to work out. <laughs> feeling pretty good about all of that. Okay, we're just gonna continue on. We're gonna put in all our pieces and then I have some fun um, like beading portions. Let's see. This is gonna be so good. I can't wait. Okay. Okay, let's look at her eyes. And I want to put little, um, some sort of, from the jewels mix from Buttons Galore and more. I'm thinking the silver one will be really a really nice touch right there. So we'll add that in there in a minute. Let's put this down. So I hope this gives you guys um, a chance to see how like different SVG files will get you to do things differently. So this one's very, very different from the ones we normally do. And the eyes kind of match up, okay. Right? Yeah. Okay. Let's put in the eyelashes just like the other side. in here. the same thing I mean it's just the detail is beautiful it's just such a different way to put things together
What am I missing? I'm missing the white part. We should put the white part in first. Oh my goodness. <laughs> before I, I mess up on the on the portions all together, right? Okay, let's put this in. Put this little guy in at this point. I need to put in And then I'm gonna put something heavy on top so that it all stays down. All right, we're missing this little piece and the eye. Let's get that in there. Hold it all down. Oh my gosh, it's almost done. All right, let's look at the, the mouth piece here. So this goes like this, and then we've got teeth to put in there. Oops, we've got a little bit of the nose. Let me put the nose in, because that one we can definitely do. All right, the teeth I'm gonna flip over and the same thing that we did before of like putting the teeth in, let's do that. Okay, so I'm gonna flip this over and let's kind of tape it all down. Everything's kind of down. Let's get the teeth. Almost done. All right, the teeth are down. They're gonna look like this. Okay, so we can totally glue that.
Okay, then, yes, everything looks good. All right, you never know. I'm gonna hold that down in a second. Okay, so all we have left are the little dots. So let's get these big pieces out. So. I wonder if I should do them, hmm. Because they're kind of small. Can you even see them? Okay. I'm wondering if I use the smaller ones and we actually do. Let's see. If on these bigger ones, we use the smaller pieces. Well, let's see. Let me grab. All right, let's get these little small ones and see. Yeah, if we do the smaller ones, Okay, so we'll do the big ones on the smaller holes. So kind of like the opposite of what you would think. these we're going to go with the small ones and build small ones all around it Can you see? Oh yeah, it's pretty. They come in all different sizes, so it's trying to find the right one for it. Oops. All right. Oh, that one will stay.
I hope that one stays. It's so pretty though. Okay. I wonder if I put a big one in the middle and then all around it. Oops. Let's try it. So pretty, right? Okay, these little rhinestones, I love it. Okay. And flipping them over, of course, they're like not on the right side. Let's see. Here we go. One more. All right, so now all we have left, the apples. And I'm gonna put this down over here to get that to stay down. Um, the little bit of the brown and the eyelashes. And then what I wanna do with this piece is I wanna roll up some red paper flowers and put them in here. So, um, that you can you know start to add afterwards but i'm going to put this down her neck down and this is 100 pound cardstock so you can see it's you can hear it it's great quality pushing it down um, we've got the apples left so I'm gonna show you the apples the apples are so cute the apples are 
brown. Nope. So they're going to go like this. And then I think the apples themselves, I'm going to put on a little bit of foam, uh, foam tape. So it'll pop up a little bit. Okay. So let's put these down. So pretty. I'm so excited about this one. And then I would put it on a foam board. So I might not do that on this one, depending on how much time we have. Because I don't want this to be like a four hour, <laughs> a four hour project for you guys. But you get the picture, right? The idea. Okay, look at that. So Gorgeous. Okay. Um, the apples. <coughs> Excuse me, the apples. So we've got this one here. All right, so foam tape. Here we go. Now, I would be worried about these coming off, so I'm going to dab it with my hot glue gun. One down. It's so pretty, huh? Oh my gosh, I'm loving this. So this is regular white cardstock, which I'm so tempted to put rhinestones on that as well. But I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> and let's see here. Cause we're gonna add the flowers on this side. I still need to cut them and roll them up, but you get the idea. One more. Oh my gosh, so good. Okay, so I have these little brown pieces. Let me show you, and the banner is not done. The banner, I don't know what wording I'm gonna put, but it's that same. I might switch out this gray for the white. I don't know, we'll have to see, but it's gonna go down here, down at the bottom with some sort of like saying. It's gonna look so good. Um, the only piece we have left are the little parts in her eyes. So let me try to find those pieces. They're teeny tiny. So you can see, let's see, I think this one goes here like that. And then this one, maybe like that. There's like a teeny tiny piece over here, like that. And like that, I think. 
I feel like that this one should be bigger, but I don't have a bigger piece. Unless this one goes over there. That one's pretty big though. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna put this one in. We're just gonna wing it at this point. doesn't really fit but I'm just gonna put it in <laughs> I think there needs to be a bigger piece but I'm okay with that I'm putting it in so that it fills up the space and no one's gonna notice So that's all done. I'm going to take this one off. Um, yeah, I think I think we're pretty much done. She's beautiful, right? <laughs> all right. So um foam board just like all the other ones you're going to trace it and then cut it inside because i don't know exactly where my banner is going to go yet um i might have a part three for you but hopefully this is good enough to get you started and finish let me know what you think comments questions things you want to see i'm so excited on this one all right bye guys